Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Game Over back with another Wildlands video. Today I have a video about achievements. Now there is two achievements in particular the Wildland community are getting really hyped about. They are difficult to get. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to get those two in this video today. Now I will warn you before we get into the video to in order to unlock these achievements uh, using this method you are going to need to have certain items unlocked in game. Now those items are the flashbang, the flare gun, the C4 and the mine. So uh, in order to uh, get into this video I'm going to first of all show you the achievements uh, we are talking about. So I'm on Xbox which makes it really easy for me to just go into my Xbox menu, go into the trophy section here and into my achievements. Now I just scroll down to Tom Clancy, Go Streak on Wildlands and I have my uh, achievements page set up in order from uh, last achieved to first achieved. So we are just going to scroll down this list and I believe it's here near the bottom. It's just not this one. I get a couple of these up. Okay, cluster bomber. Here we go. Killed seven enemies with a single C4 blast. Now this is the first achievement we are going to be going for in this video. Hopefully we'll be getting it. Uh, like I said, I, I have heard they are difficult to get, so I don't know how many goes it's going to take me to get. Um, I mean, you know, there's other achievements such as this pull achievement, uh, shot an enemy chopper out of the air with a mortar. That's a bigger reward, but these are the ones that everyone is going uh, crazy over, right? So the second one is this one, a better mousetrap. Killed seven enemies with a single mine. Okay, that is the second one we are going to be going for in the video. Uh, hopefully we'll get them um, in our first try. If not, then I'll just don't worry. I'll just have to edit the video um, so you can uh, see them. Now, in order to uh, do this, we need a certain mission. Okay. Now the mission is based in uh, Mont Montuyoc, I believe you pronounce it. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's where the mission is based. Now, to unlock the mission, there is another mission that we have to do right, and it over here where I'm showing you now and uh, as you can see I've already completed it it's the outpost now the mission this completing this mission will give you the deserter that's the mission we need so uh, I've already completed the outpost so I'm not going to do it again but I will show you basically what you have to do in uh, the mission the outpost which is really easy and it's set in this location like I said so um, basically uh, I'm just gonna we're going to come in this side. I'm just going to show you pan round so you get your bearings. You've got this, this uh, APC stroke tank, whatever you call it, thing here. So we're going to uh, just run in here. Now I've already killed everyone in here for the purpose of the video. Um, but I mean, it's not that difficult to get in here. And we're going to be going into this building we see in front of us, right? Uh, so we're going to make our way up into this building. There'll be like two or three bad guys here you'll have to kill. Uh, it's no biggie, like I said, so we'll go right to the top and you want to make your way over to the laptop that is here. Now, once you uh, activate this laptop, uh, you hack it, you will get the information that you need and you will get the mission called the deserter. Now, that is the mission we need. I'm going to play it so you can hear it. Deserter up in the hills. Find this guy and bring him in. He could tell us a lot about the cartel's training program. Okay, now that is the mission we are going for. The mission is based down here. I'm going to be showing you that on the map now. So both these missions are really close to each other. Um, they're not that far apart and it, they're both pretty easy to do. So um, basically the reason we want to use this mission is because there's other, there's obviously other missions and other places that you can group seven enemies together in order to get them with a single C4 blast. But using this mission allows us to to keep uh to, to have the chance to keep retrying it if we don't get it the first time around also if we do get it the first time around we can then go for the second achievement because um when the mission resets you start right next to the mission so it just saves us time makes life a lot easier um so i'm just going to show you now where the mission is it's just literally just down here if i just turn that okay there we go you can just see it right there so it's not that far to get to both missions are pretty easy so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to stop recording and we're going to pick it up again once i'm over at the uh, other point 
Okay, so here we are over in uh, on to York still. We are at the deserter mission. I'm just going to quickly show you that now. Here we go. The deserter mission. Show you what that is. Okay. So we are going to go over to this group of guys. The first thing we're going to do the is the um, mark them. The plan, boss. You find the leader, use your binoculars for that. I want to find out what he knows about the deserter. Roger that. Here's target number five. There we go. You can use your binoculars or your drone, doesn't really matter. Oh. Okay. That was quite an unnoob mistake on my part. Alright, so what we're going to do is get the flashbang. No, not the flashbang, sorry, the diversion you And throw it in there. Throwing a simulator. To try and get them all grouped up. Come on, guys. See how they like a simulator. Take the bait. Oh. As we can see, not really working. Let's try and flare it guy. Firing a flare. Okay. There we go with the flare gun. So obviously the flare one gun works better. Okay, so we're gonna go in there with the flashbang. Throwing a flashbang. Okay, and now we get in with the um, C4. Throw that in there. Demo. Mission failed, obviously, but there we go. Rare achievement unlocked, cluster bomber. Killed seven enemies with a single C4 blast. So there we go. That was the first achievement uh, we got. So now we are going for a better mousetrap achievement. And as you can see, this is why this mission is good uh, to use because we are again replaying the mission. So we're at the same spot, same place. So we just go down there and um, just try and do the same thing. But this time um, we have to use a mine. So again, we will make our way over here. Get over to the bad guys. There's a couple over here, there's three down that way, okay. So over here we go. Same spot. Okay, so this time we're going to use the flare gun because we know that works better. Roger that. Sending up a flare. Eyes out. You're going to get made. Hang back. Okay, now they've got to regroup. Hopefully, they're getting together. Okay, let's get in there with a the flashbang. Loving a flashbang. Place down the mine. Back up. Shoot the mine. There you go. Now mission failed obviously because we killed everyone. And there we have the rare achievement unlocked. Killed seven enemies with a single mine. So there you go, that's two achievements unlocked. The first one was Cluster Bomber, the second one was a better mouse trap. Now I did have to do some sneaky peeky cheeky editing. Uh, you probably saw that if you're eagle eyed, because my editing so professional you probably didn't really realize that but uh it did take me like four or five attempts to get the second one the mouse trap so i'm sure you guys don't want to sit there and watch me uh attempt to get the um, to hit the second achievement like 
all that time. So um, bearing that in mind, this is the end of the video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please take time out to smack that like button. Um, also subscribe if you'd like to see my future content, future videos. And um, thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video.